Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and I'm back for the first VGC 2020 laddering season, or laddering session of the season. Excuse me, I mixed up my words right there, but I just, before we start, I want to say that I'm hoping that I can continue this series because last time that I even tried to do this, uh, I had some major connection issues and it made it impossible for me to find any games. Uh, at least on battle spot doubles for some reason, I'm, I'm, or on ranked doubles. I'm able to find battles on like ranked singles, regular singles, unranked doubles. I, I just can't do ranked doubles for some reason, which is really annoying considering that's literally what all my content is. However, um, with all that, you know, with all that off to the side, I want to say thank you for all the support in the channel recently. And uh, let's just hope that I can hit 10k sometime soon. The growth has been very steady and fast and i really appreciate all of it you guys are amazing and uh yeah the team that we're going to be using today is that galispod team that i sort of gave you a sneak preview of uh, like a week ago uh, but i was intending on making a video covering it in the same format as that sandaconda qr team video uh or that rental team video but I think I'm going to have to push that back until tomorrow or Sunday. Until then, I'm going to be using it on the ladder and just showcasing it. But what we have here is a Expert Belt Galissapod, and it is speed crept for 4 speed Tyranitar, which happens... Or no, it's speed crept for Tyranitar, which also happens to be 4 speed Sylveon. And it's max attack, able to one-shot Tyranitar if it is max speed with first impression. And if it is not max speed, then it's usually max HP, which we still have a pretty decent chance of one-shotting it. Um, it's able to take hits from Excadrill very well, to the point where uh, Rock Slide at minus one isn't even going to take us down to our emergency exit after two hits. <laughs> but uh, even at neutral, we don't go down to emergency exit, so we're able to one-shot Excadrill with liquidation. And if we are in a situation where Excadrill has taken a bit of chip damage, then Aqua Jet will be able to pick up that KO. And because we are Expert Out boosted, we're getting extra damage on our super effective hits, which means that Sucker Punch will be able to do a little bit under 70% to opposing Dragapult, which is really, really sweet, considering how much they threaten our Dragapult. Speaking of which, we're running standard... Uh, Jolly, Max Speed, Max Attack, 4 HP, Life Orb, Dragapult with Dragon Dance, Phantom Force, Dragon Claw, and Protect. Uh, we're running a Choice Scarf, Excadrill with Mold Breaker. We're running a very supportive uh, Arcanine here, Will-O-Wisp, Roar, Flare Blitz, Protect. Uh, standard Bulky Togekiss, we have... What's it called? Uh, we have Air Slash, Follow Me, Dazzling Gleam, and Protect. And we're running a very bulky and fast Citrus Berry, Rotom Cut. It has... Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, Protect, and Leaf Storm. But with that out of the way, uh, leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time. And let's hope that I don't get disconnected from the server, because I already tried recording this and that happened. We did find a battle. Let's hope that this goes well. But yeah, uh, question of the day. Question of the day. What do you guys think is the least viable Pokemon in the entire format? Uh, I'm really curious what you guys' opinion on that is. Personally, I think it's Galarian Stunfisk. That thing's completely garbage. But uh, we are facing just straight hyper offense. Oh my god. Uh, pretty much everything here besides um, Whimsicott and Charizard, I expect to be a physical attacker. Um, Glissapod on the lead isn't bad at all. It isn't bad at all. Uh, Choice Scarf Excadrill also is looking pretty sweet, so I think I want to lead off Glissapod Excadrill, and that's pretty much just for the purposes of dealing with Whimsicott, dealing with uh, opposing Dracovish. We're able to completely like nullify Dracovish by going for first impression into, um, into our Stomping Tantrum. Uh, however, I could also bring my Togekiss in the back. Or I could lead off Togekiss Dragapult too. Togekiss Dragapult doesn't seem that bad. Um, it helps me deal with uh, Dracovish pretty effectively. Um, I think I might... Mm, you know, I'll do this. I'll do that. Uh, I think in the back I'm going to need Rotom or a couple of these things. Speed control on that, on that Dragapult wouldn't be that bad. I think I'm definitely going to need Togekiss. Um, I'm conflicted between Rotom and Rotom and Dragapult, though, but my gut is telling me Dragapult. My gut's really telling me Dragapult here. Despite all the physical attackers, I'm not going to bring Intimidate because uh, many of his physical attackers still threaten me anyways. That <laughs> that uh, right here, I feel like, is going to be a major issue if we uh, let Galispod go down. So we have to play Galispod pretty, care uh, pretty carefully here. And I also need to keep in mind the new speed mechanics that mean that uh, our opponents immediately benefit from things like, uh, what's it called? From things like uh, Tailwind. 
So here I actually feel pretty comfortable going for a sucker punch, and I kind of wish I brought my my. <laughs> I kind of wish I brought that uh. That Arcanine now because I don't want to take a flare blitz. Um. I could first impression this thing and get rid of it immediately. I'm I'm concerned. Is it choice scarf? Is it choice band? We have no way of knowing. Uh, what is my best play here? I definitely should probably go into. I really have no good play here besides taking the risk, do I? I think I really have to deal with that Darmanitan first. So, yeah, we are going to go for the first impression, and we are going to go for the Rock Slide here. Uh, here's to hoping that it is not Choice Scarf. I, that's really going to mess me up if it is. I'm assuming that's the Dragapult. If it's not, we're in pretty big trouble. All right, cool. That's the Dragapult. That's fine. I don't really mind that too much. Um, I'm really concerned with Darmanitan, and honestly, that's such a scary lead. Uh, you know, you're able to intimidate Darmanitan, but not Dragapult. First impression should be doing about 70% of this thing. Yeah, that seems about right. And we are faster than it, but who do we hit? Oh my god, okay, that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate, but it should be going down to the recoil anyways. Um, I really didn't want to lose my to drill. That's very unfortunate for me. But I guess, you know, <laughs> what can you do? It looks like Darmantan will go down, so it is going to be a nice trade. I shouldn't go down to anything that this thing wants to go for unless it is special and goes for a max lightning or has max airstream. What is that coming off of? It looks like a physical hit because I tank it pretty well. Um, he is going to be a bit faster now, but I will be able to go into Togekiss and Dragapult, which is really nice. I can follow me whatever that Dragapult wants to go for and uh, Dynamax, my own, Dynamax my own Dragapult and probably be fine. I know for a fact I want to send out Togekiss, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to send out Dragapult here. Sucker Punch I'm going to keep in the back. Sucker Punch might be really, really in, uh, useful later on uh, in case I end up in a scenario where Dragapult is the only thing left on the field and I am able to KO it. So there's the Dracovish, my worst nightmare. <laughs> and it looks like I'm going to have to get rid of this Dragapult immediately. Uh, Dragapult should be faster than Dracovish, though, which means that my follow me will redirect both of these hits, and I can go for this Max Worm win, lowering the attack of that. Maybe I want to lower the defense. I think I actually will go for Max Phantasm, because that's going to lower the defense of the opposing Dracovish, which is going to be really, really useful. I'm hoping he doesn't go for the Max Guard, though. Max Guard could be very, very annoying. Uh, if he doesn't go for the Max Guard, I should be fine here in my... Togekiss should be able to take whatever this Dragapult goes for and then drop to the Dracovish. And that minus one defense will put that Dracovish in range of first impression, I believe. Not that I would not speed it anyways with Dragapult, but the defense drop is going to be really, really useful. More so than the attack drop. Here's the follow me. There's the max steel spike. I Do I live that? I have a lot of physical defense. Come on, Togekiss. Thank you. It's one of these guys. He's running Steel Wing. He's running Steel Wing, which uh, I'm kind of glad I went for that defense dropping move now. Alright. That thing's in Sucker Punch range, so I can go for that with my Galissapod next turn and go for the Max Worm Wind onto the uh, Dracovish the following turn. There's the Crunch. Ooh, am I going to live? Did this guy just make like a pretty, pretty awful play, actually? That was... A God, that was a bad play. That was a pretty bad play. I'm going to get my Wiki Berry, uh, which means that if he is Choice Scarf, I should be able to take another one of these. Uh, and I could honestly just follow me again. I can follow me, feel pretty safe with that decision, and go for a Max Wormwind onto... I think I'm more comfortable going for it onto the, uh, onto the Dracovish, because he might just Max Guard this next turn. And I'm not really concerned about Dragapult anymore. It's in Sucker Punch range, and I really want to show off Galissapod, so I'm going to I'm gonna take that opportunity to click Sucker Punch on Dragapult. But that Rock Slide miss right at the beginning, that was really unfortunate. Uh, Excadrill could have put in a ton of work for the team, and uh, obviously it would have been safe versus the opposing Darmanitan, or versus the opposing Dragapult, because he went for that max Airstream and didn't knock out my Galissapod. There's a follow me, max Phantasm. Yep, that's going to KO my Togekiss. I don't need to concern myself with the Dragapult for a little bit. Um, the defense drop is, you know, not the best, but 
Uh, this Max Wormwind should pick up this KO. Nice. And that, <laughs> that Dragapult has no idea what's coming for it next turn. It really doesn't have any idea what's coming for it. The fact that he has Max Airstream and Max Steel Spike tells me that he probably doesn't have Dragon Dance. He's probably just full offensive. Which means I'm actually not in the worst situation here. He has a Charizard. Alright, that's actually really good. Uh, what I'll do here is actually go for the Sucker Punch and go for... I I'm pretty much expecting this thing to be a special attacker, so it doesn't really matter which one of these moves I click. Dragapult's the fastest thing in the field. If he goes for my Dragapult, um, I'm safe. I think my best play is Max Phantasm. Or maybe Max Wormwind in case he's physical. It doesn't really matter. I outspeed the outspeed this thing in the following turn anyway, so I should be fine. So here's the Sucker Punch right into its gut. And we get the KO. So I think I just won this game. Which is really, really nice. Nice, that life orb. <laughs> that life orb is putting in a lot of work for us. So despite the pretty awful lead, uh, we are going to pick up this win right here, which is really, really nice. Uh, I, I honestly felt like I just lost the game as soon as I saw that Darumanitan and Dragapult lead. That's not saying that you really see all that often, but it is definitely really scary. Now nah, I don't feel like checking out that guy's team. All I know is it's hyper offensive and it's like scary as hell. So I don't, I don't want to spend any more time with it. Let's continue battling. I'm gonna to try to get two or three battles in here. If I have connection issues, I'll just be like, okay, I'm not recording anymore. But yeah, I feel like the more I mention my connection issues, the more likely they are to happen. Uh, and I really don't want them to. But I'm just so paranoid about them because I I spent an entire season unable to play games. Do you know what that's like? Buying a Pokemon game making a channel completely about competitive Pokemon and then just not being able to play online. That was awful. It was it was the worst. But I do have to hand it to uh, the situation. Uh, what that ended up bringing about was much more creative content on my end. So due to my situation, I was I was able to make the best of it. And we are seeing this straight gimmick team. Uh, Indeedy Hatterene is going to be nice for his, you know, aside for getting up Trick Room, but uh, Colossal with Surf Weavile is what we're staring down right here. I feel very comfortable. Do I feel very comfortable with this? I I don't know. This is actually really scary. I could try to roar out the Trick Room Setter. I could try to roar out the Trick Room Setter. I, I feel like I always lead off Glyspod and Excadrill still. Uh, because it deals with both leads. Like in first impression that... Uh, I can first impression and high horsepower the Weavile and Colossal lead, and I can get some pretty major damage off with Iron Head uh, and Liquidation on the Trick Room lead. In the back, I'm definitely going to need Arcanine because it just eats hits from the Sun offensive side of things. And I feel like my last Pokemon is either going to be Togekiss or Dragapult here. Uh, it looks like Togekiss is a little bit more ideal. It eats hits a bit better, and I can follow me away some... Scary attacks. Is that really my is that really my game plan though? Yeah, let's go with it. Let's go with it. It's pretty awful, but let's do it. <laughs> let's just let's just hope that uh, we get the Weavile lead. I feel like versus my team, he'd feel he'd feel pretty comfortable with the Weavile lead. Listen to this music. This music's spooky. All right, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So the reason I wanted this lead so badly uh, is because he's just kind of not going to win. <laughs> I can go for this Earthquake really safely. It's not going to proc anything on my Galissapod side. And I can go for a First Impression to knock out the Weavile. Um, and the First Impression into Earthquake will KO the Weavile because of, you know, it's probably running Focus Sash. Uh, and it will do it before the Weavile is able to go for anything like a Surf. And I'm pretty certain that uh, even through Dynamax, this should be doing some pretty decent damage to this Colossal. So I'm not I'm not the most concerned about the Colossal anymore. He could go for like a, a Fake Out or something, but uh, if he's going for a Fake Out into anything, it's going to be into my into my Galissapod. Let's see what he goes for. Tell me you Surfed. He went for the Surf. <laughs> You went for the surf. You just wanted to get the game. All right, now this is a 
It's going to be a pretty powerful move going on in this Colossal. How much am I doing with the times 4 move? Oh, we're going to proc that weakness policy, but um, I'm kind of hoping he just, you know, goes for the... Uh, what is it? I'm hoping that he goes for the fire move. Yeah, because that means I can go for like... Um, that means that I can go for this liquidation next turn. And even though it's getting, you know, reduced in power by uh, the sun, I'm still going to be able to do a ton of damage because of my expert belt. And I feel like I'm saying you know a lot. I also feel like I'm saying I feel like a lot, but I, who cares? <laughs> Let's send in this Arcanine. That's, uh, that feels pretty safe, actually. The Arcanine is going to reduce the attack of this Colossal and whatever else is going to come in here. Dragapult, I'm pretty fine with that. I'm not too scared of Dragapult, actually. I don't think it can take me down to my um, to my emergency exit. And here, um, do I actually, is this like the rare occasion where I Dynamax my Golisopod? This might be the rare occasion I Dynamax my Golisopod. That's a horrible idea, but I'm going to do it. Let me go for this Will-O-Wisp, too. I think that's going to give me what I need to actually KO this uh, this Colossal. That might be what actually gives me the, the advantage I need. It guarantees I live a physical hit from the Dragapult, for sure. Uh, barring that this is actually, like, Specs Dragapult, and I just get nanid. But I feel like it's physical Dragapult. Very few people are running Specs anymore. It was pretty much just the beginning of the season thing. But it's, it's still viable. We might get Nanade on right now. We might get Nanade. Who knows? But on the physical side, whew, good luck knocking me out. Hydro Pump? Really, bro? <laughs> really? Alright, there's that Will-O-Wisp. Uh, so he is special. He is special. Uh, he's gonna... <laughs> he locked himself into Hydro Pump, if anything, though. Wow. Alright, well, this Max Geyser for sure is KOing him. It's 130 base power now. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. I think we win. I do have a max darkness for that <laughs> for that uh, Dragapult too, which is really nice. Dude, Glyspot's just going in in this session. Why is Glyspot doing so much work? He has no reason to be doing this much work. What's coming in? Torkoal? I don't even care, dude. I don't even care. I think I just want to max darkness that thing and be be done with this. Or actually, no, I should probably actually just... I should probably just protect... Or, no, Torkoal's... or my Arcanine's faster, so it's irresponsible for me not to go for this, um, this max geyser. Because it's going to decrease the power of Torkoal permanently, which is really nice. And that Hydro Pump is not knocking me out. I don't know what world you're from where you think that Hydro Pump is going to do more than 50 to me. But it's definitely not this world, dude. And he's Life Orb. So I don't know why you're still going for Hydro Pumps. Flarebits is going to do a chunk. And uh, while this isn't going to KO the Torkoal, it is going to just power down that Torkoal a pretty significant amount. Because Eruption's not going to be doing nearly as much. The uh, Rain's going to reduce the damage of that as well. And now I can click Max Darkness. Now I can click Max Darkness and just win, which makes me extremely happy. Look at this Eruption do too. Nice. Nice. You know what? I'm willing to throw away this whole session just uh, to KO... Nah, I'm not. I was going to say, I'm willing to throw away this whole session just to click a... Uh, just to click Max Geyser onto the Dragable, but I should definitely click Max Darkness. I'm not that dumb. I'm pretty dumb. I'm not that dumb, though. Alright, nice. They just forfeit. So Glyspot just seriously destroying that match. Got every KO, and... Theoretically, it would have actually gotten every KO. Because it KO'd the Weavile, it KO'd the Colossal, it would have KO'd the Dragapult had they not cancelled the battle, and then it would have gone on to KO the uh, Torkoal. Thank you for the HP at Pokemon, I really appreciate it. No, really, I do. Those things are expensive. Alright, let's get one more. Let's get one more battle for this session. I'm actually really enjoying myself. I'm glad I'm able to play the game. And this is where I get disconnected. This is where it disconnects me because I actually am starting to enjoy myself. All right, we're listening to Hop's theme, so obviously whoever we're playing is probably going to be trash. Just like Hop. I'm kidding. No, Hop was actually a pretty interesting character, in my opinion. Uh, this is Hard Trick Room. I'll continue my, my lecture on Hop after I figure out what I do here. 
Um, you guys want to see me click rock slide? <laughs> Why is that my game plan? <laughs> All right. Um, Glass spot Excadrill lead still isn't garbage yet. Surprisingly, not garbage quite yet. Rotom is going to be really nice here, and I think Arcanine couldn't be, isn't that bad. Um, I don't think Arcanine's that bad. However, however, I feel like I have a severe lack of power now, and the Follow Me power is going to be pretty nice. Um, so I'll go with Togekiss here. I mean, it hits a lot of things. If I can prevent Trick Room, if I can get like one Rock Slide flinch, Trick Room's not going up. Because what will happen is I'll lock myself into Rock Slide, I'll flinch the Trick Room Setter, uh, <laughs> I get the KO with Glyspot on the same turn, and then I can Dynamax go for Max Steel Spike into the uh, Hatterene. I call it Hatterene. Does anyone else call it Hatterene? Or is it Hatterene? I don't know. I call it Hatterene. Alright, Santiago. Show me what you got. I'm out of respect for the fit. He's got, like, way too much drip. He got way too much drip for a Pokemon battle. I just look like someone who listens to punk music and uh, plays Pokemon. Oh, wait. That's me. Alright. <laughs> Do you guys want to see me click Rock Slide? Because <laughs> I'm going to click Rock Slide. Oh! A man of culture, I see. How does that, like, how do you manage to, like, not help yourself at all here? By by having that item. How does that manage to not help you at all? We have a significant, significant, we have a significant amount of speed in our Golisopod. So, uh, I feel like we will outspeed the Indeedee. Not that we're going to outspeed Follow Me, but in the off chance he did not go for Follow Me, we're still going to outspeed. Rock Slide, we do manage to connect with both. No Galarian Darmanitan flashbacks. Can I get a flinch, please? Also... In this indeedy. Oh, not gonna KO. Nope, no flinches for me. Oh well. But uh, now I can actually just do this. I'm gonna Dynamax, go for that Max Steel Spike, go for this Liquidation into the indeedy. It doesn't matter what he brings in. Uh, I feel like I don't lose much from this turn. A Gastron could come out. A Gastron can honestly come out, but Rotom Heat is in the back, or Rotom Bow is in the back. I also have the Horses in the back. You're not accomplishing much with that. Dude, this guy's outfit makes me feel like he just deserves to be a Hatterene trainer. Like, this is like, this is like his spirit Pokemon. That's so cool. Alright, big boy Excadrill about to click the Max Steel Spike. Did he go for follow me? Does it matter? No. Because I'm going last. Helping hand. Ooh, interesting decision there. Interesting decision. Max Flare, that shouldn't KO me because I'm Dynamax. It's going to do a lot though. Oh, wow, that actually KO'd. Okay. Disappointed in myself for not thinking it would KO. And now, uh, I just wasted my Dynamax. <laughs> I just wasted my Dynamax. And Goliath is definitely not going to take out this Ndidi with the sun up. Wow, that Psychic Train really, really messes me up, doesn't it? Uh, I suppose I can go for a Dazzling Gleam here. I can go for a Dazzling Gleam here, and my priority is still not useless. I can go for this, and I can switch out my Goliath for a Rotom. And Rotom's going to be able to take the Psychic move, because he really doesn't have any business going for another Fire move into my Goliath It should be a Psychic or a Fairy move. Rotom's going to eat it, because he's really bulky, and Dazgleam will pick up the KO onto the Ndidi. Max Mindstorm, there it is. Jesus! Guys, I'm scared. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of scared now. How do I beat this? How do I beat this? How did I end up here? Who decided that I should have a YouTube channel? And why am I not running a bug type move besides first impression? These are questions I should have answered before recording. 
Um, I suppose I can go for a protect here. And liquidation into the Hatterene. Uh, how many turns of Trick Room are left? Like, all of them? Like, all of the turns of Trick Room? I am not used to this setup. Uh, two turns of Trick Room. So I need to double protect, and I also need my Goliath Spot to live. You know, it's normal stuff. Normal stuff. Give me a defense drop. I don't know. I'm a really bulky Togekiss. I should be able to take, like, one hit. Ow. Guys, who decided I could have a YouTube channel? Like, who said Mar Marcos can have a YouTube channel? Who said, like, yeah, that's cool, man. Start a YouTube channel, you know? No one no one said that was okay. I just did it. <laughs> okay. So, it looks like we lost this match. It looks like we lost this match. Hard Trick Room completely messed us up. Uh, and Anchor Shot's going to destroy us. But you know what? I'm not even going to forfeit. I'm not even going to forfeit. This guy deserves the win. It was a clean game. It was a clean game. Here, hit me with that mystical fire. I'll take it. Ow. My Togekiss face is on fire. And my special attack is low. And now I'm going to be choked with, an, with with a chain and an anchor. I'm, wow, that's such a good animation. Well, you know, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. And I, I have no shame in losing the Santiago. With all of that drip. Santiago, what are you doing? Where do you shop? Who is your fashion designer, your stylist, whatever? I want to look at that team. Beery Baby. <laughs> Babiri Baby. I always say that. Babiri Berry. Uh, Psychic Seed. Assault Vest. Focus Sash. Expert Belt. Expert... Ah, Man of Culture. Charcoal. Alright, yeah. Pretty solid sets for everything. Baton Pat. That's interesting. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it there, guys. Thanks so much for coming to the first session. I, for some reason, was lucky enough not to get disconnected by my crappy internet. So yeah. Uh, I'll try to get a video out with this team, you know, being explained tomorrow. Uh, but until then, maybe, maybe Sunday. It depends how, like, my schedule looks. It's probably going to be Sunday. Probably Sunday, but... Thank you so much for coming out, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. If you want to support me on Patreon, go ahead and check that out in the link down in the description. I stream on Twitch pretty frequently i hope i try uh so that's also linked in the description my discord is down there my twitter's down there check all that out leave a like if you enjoyed but thanks for coming i really appreciate all you guys have a nice night let's try to get to 10k soon bye